The Rod and Ring by Samuel David is the latest offering by Anathema Publishing. Now these Anathema Publishing uh, releases have become something of a a VIP event. <laughs> um, I, I certainly really look forward to these releases. They are invariably gorgeous and this is no exception. Now I was talking about the Rod and Ring in my latest news video where I was saying that it may be their best publication yet and and I, I meant it at the time and I can confirm that now that I've uh, uh, read through, well, I haven't read through the entire book um, because a lot of it is uh, is lit liturgic, so many, many prayers. Um, uh, so to say that I've read every single one of these prayers would be a lie, uh, but I've read through uh, the majority of uh, what's in between the prayers and I've read many of the prayers. In order to have read all the prayers, I think uh, one would need to go through the book methodically in, uh, with, with the intention of uh, worshipping the gods um, uh, because this book is set out as an initiation into um, Mesopotamian mystery religion. And it's, it's wonderful. Um, it's uh, very much in the vein of uh, the Hecateum, and in fact, Jack Grail writes the introduction to the book, which is uh, which is a, a very very sweet introduction. Uh, the um, uh, the author um, Samuel David and Jack Grail clearly know each other um, uh, reasonably well, and uh, oh, here it is. Uh, uh, the introduction by Jack Grail. And, uh, and yeah, I can confirm that uh, reading through this uh, absolutely brings to mind the Hecateion, which is also a book which is intended as a, as a guide to initiation and as a guide to ongoing ritual and, um, and, uh, and devotion to uh, to a particular uh, goddess. This one is the same, but for the multitude of Mesopotamian gods. And uh, I really like the fact that um, Samuel David has taken steps to make this um, very inclusive, very uh, open for people who may be more interested in the Sumerian side. Uh, who may be more interested in the Akkadian side and, and so on. Uh, and so he gives alternative names for the various gods, which is, which is really great. But uh, yeah, uh, let me just give you a quick look at um, the contents page, which may give you a, a, an idea of what we're looking at here. Now there is a little, um, a little erratum, uh, which, uh, Anathema Publishing um, uh, posted about on social media is that uh, yeah the order of uh, book three and four here are reversed in the in the um, uh, in the contents page but that's obviously not the case in uh, in truth right so we got page two hundred and five here uh, descent. Um, and uh, yeah, we see page 205 being ascent. Of course, the, the order of the initiation is uh, first of all threshold, and uh, that's a part of the book where the, um, uh, the let's say the candidate uh, goes through the various parts of initiation uh, as a supplicant, as you know, asking for favor, uh, uh, introducing him or herself in effect to the various gods of the, um, uh, of the Mesopotamian pantheon. Uh, and uh, then, uh, then there's foundation. So this works as an, as an initiation. And then by the time we get to foundation, uh, we're doing the same thing as an initiate. Uh, so, um, you know, different regalia, different prayers, different, um, uh, different forms uh, all, all round. And then book three is a descent into uh, the underworld. And book four is an ascent into the heavens, into, in, into heaven. Uh, and uh, it's, it, it's really very, very beautiful. Um, uh, the 
introduction, the preface by Jack Grail obviously is very sweet, as I, I was say, as I was saying, but there's a nice lengthy introduction which spans about, uh, uh, yeah, 20, 30 pages, something along those lines, uh, where he introduces to us, first of all, his own, his own journey, his own um, uh, experience, his own, the, the reasons for writing this book, the reasons for, uh, for uh, his own practice, uh, uh, which is which is fascinating, and uh, and then he goes into a description of the actual gods themselves. There are many many gods here, and um, uh, yeah, I've certainly most of the pantheons that I know of uh, uh, are well, they 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 they, they are um, at least paralleled here. Uh, there's. Um, very interesting to see some of the, well, what may be origins of the pantheons that are more popular, better known, and uh, to see here the uh, uh, the, uh, the, the 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 devotions, the uh, in in fact the, the liturgies, the, um, the the prayers themselves, which are historically. Uh, informed, they are in fact in many cases just direct translations of uh, of original uh, prayers. Um, it's it's a it's a wonderful journey. It's a really wo wonderful journey. And then of course we've got this this fantastic art all the way through, which is which is fantastic. Uh, let me just uh, have a quick look at uh, the name of the artist because I'm afraid I. I forget illustrations by Johnny Decker Miller. There we are, um, and uh, and yeah, and of course we have the the extraordinary um, Anathema Publishing um, editing, <laughs> right? Uh, the, the 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 typeface, the, uh, uh, the the way it's put on the page, the uh, the the, the two tone character of each header, and uh, uh, it's it's all. It's all a, a work of love, and this is the kind of thing that uh, that um, <laughs> that you don't get from uh, massive uh, uh, mass market publishers, right? Uh, it, it has to be a work of love to be as as beautiful, as careful as uh, as as what we have here, and uh, and and in turn, when we have small mistakes like uh, like 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 this one, and you know the 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 odd the odd typo. I mean, I, I think I spotted like three, maybe. Uh, um, uh, it's completely forgivable because you know that it's the work of just a few people who are putting out something for us because they love it and because they know that we might benefit from it and uh, and that in itself is 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 just wonderful <laughs> absolutely wonderful and uh, and and uh, yeah <laughs> uh, i i feel certainly very um very grateful very uh, very humbled by uh, the fact that, uh, that that this is available to us to me um uh, who can just you know spend a few dollars and and uh, in my case I didn't even spend a few dollars this was this was gifted to me by anathema publishing um, uh, just very very kind of them because it was uh, one of the books that I was really looking forward to this year um, and, uh, uh, and 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 yeah and and have this information at the at the tip of our fingers and um, uh, yeah, I, I, we, we, we live in very blessed times as well as difficult times, right? I mean, uh, having this kind of information would be undreamt of just, just 20 years ago. Uh, so so that's, that's extraordinary, extraordinary. There we are. Okay, that's, uh, that's it. That's my review. Um, maybe I can show you the appendices, which have got some... Uh, bibliography, uh, if I remember uh, correctly, yes, some recommended reading here. Um, so some some uh, very interesting books there, <clears throat> uh, and uh, and here we go, a list of God's names in cuneiform text. There we are. Did I miss one? A brief introduction to the Mesopotamian people. Ah, oh, yeah, here we are. And then 
just a, a little um, biography of the author and afterward and uh, and that biography uh, is right in the right in the back there we go so this is the deluxe edition it's um, uh, limited to 306 309 copies I believe um, uh, the regular standard edition is uh, it's it's also beautiful in its own way I think it's uh, uh, instead of being faux leather bound it is um, uh, cloth bound uh, but anathema publishing always make sure that their uh, that the, all of their versions are, are a delight uh, so so yes if um, if the if the deluxe edition is out of uh, your financial reach then uh, then yes you might like to have a look at the standard edition which is yeah as i say all, also gorgeous and it's got that lo lovely rod and ring design on the cover as well which is really really nice uh, rather than this gold stamped uh, lamassu uh, naturally it's uh, all of the quality that you can expect from um, anathema publishing with really nice thick page stock which we um, which i've shown you before uh, and it's a nice cream color um, of just a real real delight to read there we go thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't done so already and check out the memberships and all the good stuff in the descriptions and uh, yeah see you very soon with another video thanks very much for watching bye bye